Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. An installation today on the Astra, something a little bit controversial. I know there's gonna be opinions about it. There always is on every single video that I've ever watched of someone installing what I'm installing today, but that's not a problem. Now, if you cast your mind back a couple of months, I actually put a cone filter on the Astra. A company called, hang on, Funk Motorsport, I'll grab it just quickly, sent me out this cone filter. This one right here has got their logo and stuff on it. And I put it on the Astra and I had it on there for probably maybe a, less than a month because I don't know whether it was just like the placebo effect of having or knowing the filter was on there um, but the car just felt a little bit more laggy um, and the reason for that people the reason people say that that happens is heat soak um, these cone filters because they're not enclosed and because they are open to the engine which obviously gets hot when it's running um, these things take in a lot of heat which can bog your engine down, supposedly. That's what people say anyway. So because of that, I actually ended up taking the cone off, putting the old airbox back on, but de-restricting the uh, standard airbox. I took like the restricted pipes out um, and then put a Vectra C intake on it. And some would say that that is probably the best thing for the car, and you may be right. And the setup that's on there at the minute, like I said, is the Vectra C intake, so it's a larger diameter intake on the front to take more air in. And the box has been de-restricted, the box is enclosed because it's the standard air box um, and, it's, and it seems to drive pretty good with that setup. However, so for the sake of science I wanted to try something different and I was searching around on eBay like you do looking for car parts and I came across the Ram Air filter kit for the Astra. Now it says that it's for the 8 valve version but I believe it's the same for both. I'll just show you that there. The paperwork says uh, the Astra 1.6 8 valve and for my year engine. Now I did put my vehicle details in and it said that it's compatible with mine and um, there's not a lot of difference between the engines being a 8 valve and a 16 valve so hopefully this kit is going to work with what I need it to. Now I'll quickly just show you what we're working with. This is the kit, this is how it came. It came in that Ram Air box as you probably just saw me unbox. Um, the filter is actually a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be. I've seen people install these Ram Air filters before on their cars and the filters are literally like like this big usually, like twice the size of this. This thing's tiny, that's like the size of my hand. Um, but this is the one they sent out. It's a oilless foam filter. So the material is foam. Unlike other filters, this one doesn't have any oil in it. Um, so that's good. It's got a wire mesh on the inside, as you can see, so it keeps its structure. And then you also get an adapter to come with it, which goes into the filter. That allows you, with that threaded piece on the bottom, just there, hang on, come on camera. With that threaded piece on the bottom, it allows you to mount it via this bracket um, to one of the standard points in the car. They also give you a couple of Jubilee clips, some cable ties, and a nut and a washer. And then what's different about this one is I've actually got a cold air feed pipe. Now this will extend out, I'm not going to do it right now, but this does extend out. Um, and you feed this from the air filter, so this will sit, so, oh, wrong one, so this will sit on the air filter somewhere like that. And then the other end is gonna to go to somewhere on the front of the car so that it draws in cold air. Now I'm undecided what I'm gonna do yet, but I may leave the bottom half of the air box in there because that's got the Vectra C intake going to it. I'm not entirely sure yet, we'll see how we go. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and install this now. Or I'm gonna to attempt to install it. Hopefully it all goes to plan. It does come with some instructions, um, but the instructions aren't great with this, so we're just gonna to have to see how we go. It can't be too difficult, it's literally just a bolt on job, so. Without further ado, let's go out to the Astra. Let's take the old system off. I'll show you what the old system looks like um, and then we'll get this one put on and we'll see if it makes any difference whatsoever. Still got them snowflakes. Right, so this right here is the uh, standard setup on the Astra. Um, got the throttle body obviously here and then the pipe goes along there's like an extra sort of resonator box not entirely sure what this bit does I'm sure someone will be able to tell me um, it goes along there's a sensor here not entirely sure what that is either I'm not sure if that's like the like equivalent to a mass airflow sensor I'm not entirely sure and then obviously you've got the air box right here um, I've added on like I said this part that goes to the air box right here is actually wider than the standard one and that comes along here and then this is what picks up the cold air into the airbox. It sort of sits at the front. And this is off a uh, two, th I can't remember the year, uh, but the Vectra C models. That's what this came off. Uh, quite a common upgrade to do on these things. And that just allows colder air 
to the airbox, like I said. So, um, I didn't do the clamp up last time I worked on this, so that's still loose. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pull this old airbox out, and we'll go ahead and figure out how we're gonna mount the new one in here and where it has to mount to. Right, so that's the old air box out. Came out in three pieces. We've got the bottom bit right here, the air filter itself, and then the top piece. Um, like I said, I de-restricted this, so it will look different if you're doing this yourself. There will be an extra pipe sort of sticking out of here, and then there'll be an extra pipe in there as well, just after this hole, and it'll sit sort of like there. Um, I took them out on mine to help airflow, but now I'm completely going against that putting a comb filter in it. Now the Vectra C intake, the bit that runs from the front to here, um, I'm gonna keep that where it is, because it actually sits quite nicely and obviously that'll allow cold air into where the new filter's gonna be. The new filter is gonna sit roughly around here and I think the mount is gonna go, if I can show you, right where this bolt is, right there. So I think I have to take that off, then it'll mount to that the mount goes down and it'll hold it at the bottom so it doesn't juggle around and it'll keep it still. And then hopefully that is the right size for our, uh, our new filter. All right, that's that off. I might need to keep that screw, I'll keep that handy. Right, I'm gonna go get the new filter and bits and we'll see we'll give it a little mock-up and see how it looks quick little disclosure as well this is not sponsored by ram air they did not send me this filter i paid for this kit so this will be an honest review and if this is rubbish and if it turns out to be just as rubbish as the other one i'll be sure to let you know don't worry about that now the first thing i want to check is that this adapter that they've sent me with the little thread on the bottom is actually going to fit inside this pipe because that's quite important oh, that's a good fit Oh, that's tight. Yeah, that's good. That fits in there nice. Nice snug fit. We'll obviously put a Jubilee on that as well. Just tighten that up. All right, let's try the air filler for size as well. That sits on there good as well. All right, now we need to figure out where our mount's going to go. This is the bracket they give you. It's like, an, uh, like a Z bracket. I don't know which way up it goes. That way, I assume. Let's see. See, I thought it was going to bolt to here, and in fact, the bolt holes line up. I've got it on the bottom of the air filter, and the other bolt hole lines up on that engine mount right there. That's why the bolt hole's bigger. So it'll sit like that and keep it um, keep it upright. I see. You have to take that bolt out then. Go get some more tools. Right, so this is where we're at so far. I've managed to mount this. You can see it's pretty sturdy. I've put the um, bracket thing that they provide, bolted it down to the engine mount, bolted it with the, um, they give you a 10 millimeter nut to put on the bottom, so that's all solid on there. I've also done this Jubilee clip up, so that's all tight on there. The only thing left to do is to use, use one of these, put it on the filter, stick the filter on, and then we just need to route the cold air feed, which is this thing here. Um, it does say in the instructions where to route it, so I'll double check that in a second, and then we can get that thing routed. Just dropped a spanner. All right, there we go, there's the actual filter on. You see what I mean by it, it looks tiny. The ones I've seen other people use are literally like this big. 
like big old cones. That's what I would have rather had. It looked in the picture like it was going to be a big old cone, but that's what they ended up sending me. It also looks like it's really sitting really high for some reason. So I might have to try and just bend it down a little bit. Because <laughs> if you look, it sits really high above the engine for some reason. It's not what I want. Right, let me just quickly update you because I did a little bit off camera just then. I was just playing around with some stuff. Got a little bit carried away as you do. Um, I ended up taking off. This is the Vectra C intake like I showed you at the beginning. Um, I've ended up taking that off because, and I'll show you why, the intake or the cold in air intake that they provide you, which is this silver funnel tunnel thing right here, um, that sits and goes right to the air filter right there. So there's a, like a five centimeter gap right here between it and that. So it's gonna get as much cold air as it possibly can. But in being able to fit this in, I had to take the other one off because obviously this is the route that the old one sat and the other end is right there. So is it gonna be any better than the Vectra intake? Probably not, because it's smaller, um, but it does go directly to the filter, which the uh, Vectra one sat more down the bottom here. So it would have put the cold air in the bottom of the uh, engine bay, but this one sits and goes directly to the filter. So it's probably gonna be better in the long run. But there we go, I think that's the install done. I just need to snip these cable ties because they're um, a little bit long. But other than that, we're all in, everything's tight, all the Jubilees are tight down, the mount is all tight. I do think it looks a little bit silly in that engine bay, just being so small. I would have rather had a bigger one. Maybe I'll try and source one at a later date, but that's the one they provided, so that's the one I'm gonna use. Um, quite happy with the install. This doesn't look too bad either, it doesn't look too shoddy. I've just cable tied it here, cable tied it at this end, so that it won't move anywhere. And hopefully this will actually provide us, I know it's not going to give us any gains or anything, brake horsepower wise, but maybe it'll uh, give us a few noises, which is why most of us install these things, don't we, let's be honest. Right, so with that now fully installed, I guess the only thing to really do now is to let you listen to it, because like I said, that is the main reason why people put these things in, is just to have that little induction sucking noise that it provides, that's literally pretty much all you get out of it. Um, is it worth it? Probably not. All right, I'm not going to be out of it too much because I don't want to annoy my neighbours because it is a Sunday afternoon. But I'll give it a few revs so you can have a listen. All right, that's all I can get for right now because it's, like I said, Sunday afternoon. I'm not going to be Asbo out here. Right, so that is literally all I've got for you. It's a nice, small, short video. Um, nothing too interesting, literally just an induction kit going on the car. Um, I just want to say a couple of things about it. I said at the start of the video that this is a controversial thing to do to your car. Some people say, don't do it. Some people say, do do it. It's just one of those things. <clears throat> There's going to be a load of people in the comments saying, it's going to heat soak, I wouldn't have bothered, and all this stuff. I know. I know everything. I've heard every rumour and heard everything that people have to say about fitting these cone filters to your car. I already know it all. Don't start going in the comments and give me all this chip about how it's going to make my car slower and all this stuff. I don't care. It's literally just an Astra. I wanted it to sound a little bit better, which it does. You heard it. Even those few little blips, you heard that it sounds better. I'm going to come back out here tomorrow whilst everyone's at work because um, as I said, it's a Sunday afternoon. I don't want to be revving it up because the exhaust is quite loud on this thing. Um, so I'm going to come out here tomorrow and I'll get a couple more better shots of the intake and how it sounds. But without moaning too much, that is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's short and sweet. Video is going to be a little bit scarce for the next five days to about a week. Um, just because I've got lots of things going on, so I can't really film too many videos. But I'll be back very soon with some decent content. Thank you to everyone, by the way, that supported the course of stuff. Um, when I pulled the engine on that, I tried to do as good of a job as I could of doing like a detailed how-to. Um, people seem to enjoy it, and hopefully it'll help a lot of people out. Anyway, that's enough waffling. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe for future content. Make sure you turn on the bell notification, the little button next to the subscribe button, so that you are notified when I upload a video. I'll see you guys in the next one.